tutorial, we are going to learn about two tools named OSF Mount and WinHex Editor. OSF Mount is used to mount and use the disk which we have imaged or cloned before. The WinHex Editor is used to analyze the hexadecimal values of the files. Every file has a unique value for it. Suppose if an image file is changed or renamed as PDF, we can identify that it is an image file by using its own unique value. So the, using WinHex, we can see the value of those files. Now let us open our virtual machine, go to the browser and then download OSF mount tool. Here we can go to this download page and then download the tool, then run the setup. After downloading, open the OSF mount tool. Here we can see various options. Go to file and mount a new virtual disk. Click on this. And then here we can see it has specified .image.dd.vmdk.e01 and etc. So these types of files can be mounted now. So click on this button and then go to the E01 file which we have imaged before. So in the desktop earlier using FTK Imager we have cloned an E01 file. So using just click on this E01 test image file. Now it has been added. Give next. Again, click on next. And then let us select some drive letter for us to identify. So let the drive letter be X. Now click on mount. Now the disk has been mounted successfully. For checking this, go to the file manager. And then in this PC, here we can see the drives which are present in our PC. This T file is what we had before. This is another drive named testing, which is similar to this, but it has a drive letter X. So this is the new E01 file, which has been mounted now. Let's forget about this one and go to this. Here we have the same data which we had in the criminal disk also. So now we have imaged the disk of the criminal and then we have checked or analyzed for that information using the slip kit and, and finally we have mounted the cloned image of the drive. So now we have got the informations which were present in the disks earlier. So now we have many data which are being saved by the criminal. So let's take this image file. As I said before, we are going to learn about another tool named WinHex. Go to the browser and then type WinHex download. Go to the web page. and then click on download. After downloading, extract the file and then run the setup. So open the WinHex. This is how the tool looks. Go to file and then new. Sorry, go to file and then give open. Here we are going to open an image file. Let's open this bank image. Here we can see this bank image has this, these types of hexa values. We must take the first four values for us to easily remember. This is a .wp file extension which has this type of decimal values. Let's open another image. 
this is a JPEG image. This is a JPEG image which has a, another type of hexadecimal values. So let us see the 0, 1, 2, 3 alone. Here we can see this .jpg file has an extension of ff, d8, ff and e0. So it has 4f in it. So this is the value of jpg images. Let us open another file. Uh, let us open this pdf file. This pdf file has an hexadecimal value of 255044 and 46. So these are the unique values of every files. Even if it is changed to another format, the values of this will be same. It will remain as it is. So as I said before, .jpg has an extension. It has a values of FFDI, FF and A0. So it has approximately four Fs in it. It has four F in it. So here I have already uh, so now let us try to okay. now even if the criminal has changed any files which is present here or renamed the file from JPEG to PDF, we can find it. I have already renamed this file as a PDF file so that now we are going to open the hex editor and then as we have seen before this murderman jpg has this type of uh, hex values and I also said that I have renamed this file into PDF and I have kept here. Let's open this file and check in this win hex editor. Now when I open this sample PDF the hex value is same which I had in this JPG. Though it is a PDF, it has the value which is present in JPG. So it is not a PDF file, it is a JPG file which have been renamed. The PDF, this is an original PDF, it has this file extent, uh, file value. But this sample does not match this one. It matches the values of JPG. So hence, we have proved that the criminal has tried to change the image file into a PDF file and he have hided something in it.